So a SIM uh, is a critical part of a security organization um, from the perspective of trying to maintain situational awareness across uh, their environment. Um, it's the the piece that kind of glues information together from a number of different silos where information may be kind of self-contained. So what do I mean by that? Um, so your firewall contains information about traffic that's passing through your network boundary. Um, your web server contains information about what sort of uh, requests it's getting. Uh, in order to really understand your security posture, you need to be able to kind of put those two pieces together and merge them into a single perspective of what's actually happening in your network. And that's really where the SIM comes into play. Um, it's not really just those two components. It's pretty much any device you can think of that generates a log of some sort um, that has security relevant information. Uh, that is the, 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 the device or the application where all that information is brought together and presented to the security team in a manner that they can actually respond to. Um, without, without it, it's, it's pretty much impossible to be able to follow an attack from the outside of the network all the way to the endpoint uh, through the different hops it's going to have to make across the network to get to where it's going. Um, and you really need that in order to be able to have directed incident response so that if you see an alert coming through your SIM uh, that says, you know, we've, we've noticed a particular piece of malware or variant of malware on the network, um, your SIM should be tuned well enough that it, you can pinpoint specific endpoints where that compromise was detected. And then you can direct your uh, incident response resources to contain and eradicate specifically those machines. Uh, without it, your limited response resources are probably going to be wasted, or at least not in a very targeted manner, and uh, you'll end up taking longer to detect and respond to incidents than you would be able to otherwise.